All right, Pisces, I'm here to do a collective reading for you. I just restarted it because I was a little goofy. <sighs> I had to tone it down. <laughs> Hope everybody's happy, healthy, safe, and doing well. Anybody sending any black magic? Hoju, Bojo, Juju, towards me or my Pisces collective at this time? Please return that shit to sp sender, spirit. Positive vibes only on this channel will be taken. So into the smoke we release all energy that does not serve us, all negativity that surrounds us, and all fears that limit us. So it is. Hope you guys can't hear that music. I don't want to get copyrighted. All right. So let's jump into your reading. Um, I wanted to do another reading because that last one that I did was kind of like, whoa. I think it was more specific. I mean, it could apply to people differently, but, you know, that's how tarot goes. <laughs> All right, so let me see. Spirit angels and guides, what messages do you have for the sign of Pisces? Let's do this more directed towards love. This will be a love reading. Spirit angels and guides. God, ancestors, universe, you're going to welcome into this reading for the sign of Pisces for my collective. Let's see what is going on with my Pisces. I do got my book. Sweet. All right. So let's get two cards, two different sets of Pisces here. Let's try and do like a dual reading. <laughs> let's do a dual reading. I would break it up to masculine and feminine, but let's just do it how I first said. Dual reading. Give me two different groups of Pisces, masculine or feminine spirit. Give me a message for Pisces group number one. Okay. And number two, we get the door to romance. Number 33 may be significant. So Pisces is in Jupiter right now. When I'm with you. Okay. I'm feeling it. I don't know why I felt the need to tell you guys that. 33. Some of y'all may be in your Saturn return. Patience. Patience, young grasshopper. Number 16. Ooh, that gave me chills. I'm going to leave that one out here. Patience at the center of your reading for both. Okay. Wow. Door to romance. This is for Pisces group number one. Number 33, maybe 33 may be significant. Um, there may be, you know, something that you're doing that's inviting romance in. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Magician in the mirror. Ooh. Number 53 may be significant. Damn. This is why I don't like playing music when I be doing reads because... I'm a very active singing dancer, okay? So when I hear this song, I just can't help it. All right, number 33, group number one. Be in the <clears throat> New beginning in love. All right, whether you are looking for a new relationship or just love in a relationship you are in, this door with the heart opens unto a new beginning in your experience. A new love may be arriving and you are being brought together by a strong renaissance connection. This may be a call from a past life or it may be a new tenderness about to bloom into a heartfelt affection. This relationship already exists in its energetic potential. So when this card appears in your spread, make sure that you are projecting the kind of self-loving energy that you want to receive from others. Be aware that the universe returns your self-caring treatment to you. It's ready to open that door. Are you? All right. Affirmation for this card reads, as I open the door to my own self-love, I attract more and more loving tenderness to me. Ow. Okay. So what you put out is what you're about to get back. Pisces. Number 88, number 89 may be significant too. I wasn't going to say it, but yeah, I should. 
So number 53, Magician in the Mirror, Knowing and Using Your True Power. In the upright, this card represents the culmination of your personal and spiritual power at this time. In the Magician's left hand is the Flame of Passion and Action. In his right hand is the Vortex of Water and Light and the Light of the Reflection. Sorry. I'm like, still got that cold going on. Give me one second. The highly ben beneficial card is telling you that you are the magician and within grasp are the amazing forces of earth and spirit and water. In this energy of yin, the power of the spirit and clarity of thought, the flame is the energy of yang, bringing the direction and creativity together. They give you the magnificent magic of transformation. The mirror stands beside the magician, reflecting the outer world's response to our choice to use or dismiss the true power that you have. Its silver reflection uh, reveals the future in the mist on the horizon, ready to be magically formed. When you receive the magician upright, you are put on notice that an important and powerful time is at hand. You are the alchemist of your life, and just as the alchemist turns base metals into gold, you are now able to transform your difficulties into great blessings. This is true in every area of your life. Claim your power and embrace your intentions in your heart and your daily life. Direct your destiny and its mists of the future will clear and clear into brilliant, brilliant, oh my gosh. Great. How the fuck did I get that? Reality. Brilliant. It's like a, that's like a mix of like brilliant and radiant all at the same time. Affirmation for this card is I have the power. I need to create the destiny I desire. Magic happens when I live in consciousness of my internal truth. Woo, woo. This is exciting, Pisces. Patience, young grasshopper. I feel like you've been... There's something here you've been waiting on for a very long time. Or something you've been working on. Or something... It's like wine. Gets better with time. You know, something here has taken a lot of patience. Something here has may, may have taken a lot of time, but I feel like what's about to come in Pisces is going to be radiant. Okay. It's my new word. Radiant. Brilliant and radiant all at the same time. It's great. Okay. So let's go to the tarot. Let's see. Spirit, throw one on this door to romance. Clarify this door to romance, please. Right now may be the time for whoever this door to romance is. Somebody here needs to pick a direction, make a choice. I've seen the two of wands that like tried to fall out, but it got put back. <laughs> and then you have this door to romance. So it's like somebody here may need to make a choice. Somebody here may also need to be patient, like... Somebody here, okay, don't make a decision. Sleep on it, okay? Whatever this, if there is some type of decision, a major decision or a choice that comes about here in the near future, and this reading is resonating with you, you need to sleep on whatever choice you're trying to make. Show me the door to romance. Eight of Cups, walking away. What are we walking away from? Star card, Six of Cups. The past could be an Aquarius. This could have been something that you had high hopes for or something that you were wishing for. Um, you may have also been wishing on a star or hoping or trying to heal from the past after walking away. Maybe you have healed from your past. This is what you wished for, to heal from your past and walk away. Leave this in the distance. Leave this past. I feel like this is a relationship. 
because you see this little boy and this dog and then there's a grown man and the dog it's like I don't know why I seen it like that because now I don't but um, anyway a relationship a man's best friend is a dog you know a child you also get a child a pet you know it's their best friend but now that I'm looking at it it's probably this kid this grown man thinking back to his childhood or remembering okay so take whatever fits um, Ten of Wands, Fire. Somebody here could also be moving or relocating or thinking about it. Door to Romance. This may be your door to romance, okay? It's making this change to walk away from what? From the lovers. Could also be a Gemini. We also had Aquarius, so air energy. This could be, you know, a relationship as well. Could be an interracial relationship. Does not have to be. This is a soulmate, though. Very lustful, very desiring. Somebody who who um, maybe you share a lot of chemistry with. But this person could be like immature. Page of Cups just fell out in the reverse. So this could be somebody who you share a child with. Or somebody who's just immature. This person is unapologetic too. That's how I see that card. Somebody here d isn't apologizing. Maybe for having choices in love and so you're walking away. You're going, you're stepping out into the world. You're closing a cycle to have a brand new one with this 21 here, right? I feel like you're going to be happy regardless. Look at this woman's dress. It's like the fucking rainbow. It's a beautiful dress. I wish I had her dress. That is so cute. Anyways, um, yeah. Somebody here is very colorful, full of life, full of ambition, what I'm getting from this world card too. This may be something at a distance. You may want to be doing something at a distance. Show me the world card. Show me the world. King of Pentacles. Okay, so this could be in the Emperor on the bottom. Damn. You could be becoming your own boss. Um, traveling. What is a King of Pentacles? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The Death card. Ending something and transforming something new. You have... A couple cards here about closing out a cycle walking away emotionally from something in search of something better maybe you have choices in love show me the death card Scorpio heavy Scorpio energy as well with this judgment and this death and rebirth Somebody here may also be wanting to reconcile. They may be wanting forgiveness. You may be this King of Pentacles. Show me the King of Pentacles. This King of Pentacles could also be a Scorpio or something who, you know, something ended with. Maybe somebody transformed. Strength card could be a Leo as well. Somebody here is holding back the truth. Ace of Swords. Maybe about a Scorpio or about some type of ending. Maybe they reconciled with a fucking Scorpio. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, there's the choice. Somebody had a choice. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, the Tower card. They could have ended something with you, started holding something back. The Queen of Cups. Be specific. Ace of Swords. Spirit, Angels, and Guides. Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. <laughs> this came out in your last reading. Somebody here is up in their head, you know, like worried about somebody being single, independent, good on their own. I'm getting a lot of messages. Somebody here could also be like a shapeshifter. I don't know if that's in a negative form or a positive form, but I see it. <clears throat> somebody could have also walked away from a younger Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Or somebody could have walked away from you if you were the one that was younger. Somebody could have been a little bit emotionally immature or just like emotionally um, inexperienced, I should say. 
This could also be a water sign child or someone who didn't apologize, so somebody's walking away. I feel once somebody walks away, somebody's going to come rushing in with some type of truth and clarity, wanting forgiveness, wanting to transform a situation, wanting to have something stable, loyal, committed. This may be some, somebody at a distance, all right? But somebody here is going to come rushing in, I feel, wanting to transform a situation, wanting to tie the knot, commit things. This may have been somebody who had choices in love. This person could also travel. Okay. I think I'm going to leave it there. I feel like this person is worried about you. Um, you have a choice to make. I did see that two of wands again. You have a choice to make. I feel like you have a choice whether to go towards the past. Sorry. Okay. Let's check out this magician in the mirror for Pisces number two. <laughs> Not that you're number two, Pisces. King of Swords, okay? So very smart, strategic, calculated, very head over heart. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, you may be dealing with. Ooh, damn, the devil. And it flipped in the upright, too. Okay. The devil. All right. What is this devil, please? So... The Chariot reversed, eight of, eight of Wands reversed, Capricorn Energy, Cancerian, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Somebody here, Gemini, damn, fucking all these major arcanas, yo. Somebody may have rejected their Two of Cups. This person could have choices in love, Gemini, Taurus energy, or somebody here was already married to a soulmate. And that's why they rejected this love. I'm definitely getting a rejection because we have the chariot reversed. Things aren't moving forward. There's no communication, no action being taken whatsoever. It's only, I feel like this could be mind games. Somebody here is playing fucking mind games. Show me the magician. Give me another angle, please. Give me another angle at this magician. Another angle. The world. Wow. So this is somebody very powerful, somebody who has all the tools that they need to achieve whatever it is that they desire, damn, in the Emperor Aries energy. This is somebody who's very bold, strong, could have their own business, could be a leader as well. This person may also have a spiritual business or, you know, a magician is typically, you know, I don't know, it doesn't have to be, but... But this emperor in this world here, the hanging man, is this you, Pisces? Okay. Somebody here could also be trying to gain a new perspective on a situation. This person could travel for work. Again, we're having that come up. I don't know what is going on here. Ten of Cups. This could be somebody you have a family with or somebody who sees you as their Ten of Cups. I feel like somebody here is seeing this family situation from a, from a whole new light. Somebody here may be wanting to step up and do the right thing. Maybe this person was vibrating. This is someone from your past or past life or someone you share children with or somebody who you know from your childhood. Um, heavy Aries energy with this full card. Somebody wants a new beginning. They want to take a risk to have a new start, fresh start. Same storyline is down here. So I'm wondering if this is all like... I don't know. You guys drop a comment. Let me know how this is resonating with you. I kind of feel like for some of you guys, this is kind of like different angles of the situation. I feel like you were dealing with somebody who's very fucking powerful, very head over heart, who didn't fucking have a heart here. <laughs> All right. This person, there's something about a vehicle travel, but this is why the something here is not moving fucking forward whatsoever. Or something didn't move forward. There was no communication. All, all action 
any forward movement, action, messages, anything, it all fucking stopped. Came to a complete stop with this person, whoever this was. Somebody who was being, could be harsh with their words. They're very smart, strategic, possibly manipulating here with the devil card upright. Okay, king of, or you could have just gave me the king of swords and I would have thought the same thing, spirit. But, okay, um, yeah, maybe this person had some type of addictions, okay, that kept their heart closed off. You know, maybe something happened to this person that kept things from moving forward. This person could have also been married or divorced or gotten a divorce from somebody who was toxic. Okay, somebody who they felt stuck and bound to. Could have been an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. There was something here that was a heavy burden, Pisces. Yeah, it could have been this, could have been a marriage. Somebody offered something to somebody who they possibly seen as their counterpart. I don't know. Okay. Ten of Wands keeps wanting to show itself. Something here was a big ass burden. So whoever this magician is, whether it's you, Pisces, or someone else, we also have, you know, baby mama, baby daddy energy out here. We also have boss energy, leader, government, high-ranking individuals. But somebody here is trying to see things from a new perspective. This person may live at a distance. This person may travel. What is the relationship between this emperor and this king of swords? These people could be business partners. These two could share a home together. These two could also be married. Maybe it's the same sex or just two alpha energies. Okay, if it's not two men, okay, it's like a masculine type woman, I guess. Or someone who has more masculine energy in their chart, possibly. But I feel like this was a work dynamic. I feel like, I kind of feel like something ended here. Show me this three of pentacles. King of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So I feel like there goes your third person. A king of cups. So this could be three men. Or three alpha energies at least, you know. Maybe somebody took a break from somebody in the past. Or took a break from work. Or stopped working together. Or what is this? Show me the Four of Wands. Where are we at? 22. Four of Cups. So you got four, four, four right here. This was all like divinely guided, divinely orchestrated this way. Whatever this was, it's happening just as it should. I don't know. I feel like you have the world card out here twice. So big, big, big things on travel or movement, relocation doing something world now and there's a lot of success here as well i feel like somebody here may have made some bad choices maybe this person had if we're looking at this as like a whole somebody here i feel like made a bad decision maybe got into and now you got a queen of wands Strength card. Five of Pentacles. They're cut in the moon. Somebody could be secretly wanting to come back after leaving something out in the cold. So whoever walked away or... I don't feel this is the same energy. very very attracted to somebody oh the empress wow y'all you see that S confident attractive you know has her own business she's a go-getter a head turner the empress could be a mother Taurus Libra energy Aries Leo Sag you may have that in your chart we also have the strength card I, s I feel like somebody here is holding back because they fear they may have left somebody whoever this is 
Somebody left somebody out in the cold and they're fearing being rejected. I feel like this is somebody who there was a family with. Somebody took a break from somebody here who was very loving, very nurturing, very kind. I feel like to work on something here. But it was a bad deal. Or somebody overdid their control with this devil and this king of swords. Somebody overdid their control, manipulation possibly. I feel like somebody here, possibly you Pisces, because that's centering your reading. You've stayed very patient during this whole thing. You chose to stay balanced. Or you had an angel watching you. Because we do have 444 here. Like in a line. So I do feel like. Somebody's worried about you being single. But they fear rejection. This may also. You may not even know this. I feel like you do know this. But this moon. It's about deep emotions. You know vivid dreams. You may have dreamt about this. Not saying or nightmared about this, whatever the fuck. <laughs> I definitely feel like there's somebody from your past who you have a family with that's wanting to come back and have a fresh new start. But this person may be like immature emotionally or just reckless or unapologetic or something. I feel like somebody did something here that was not good to you, but they also got fucked over. Like they put you on red with this chariot and this eight of wands reversed, ten of wands devil king of swords this person went ice on you they cut you out cut you off this person is a great manifester the emperor they're very 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 powerful very powerful person here you're getting too comfortable and i feel like you being single is stressing this person out if you are single pisces or maybe this person just wants to know if you are single. They want to know if you have choices in love. I feel like they are going to come in with some type of truth and clarity. Um, maybe they're single now. They could be worried that you let this go. Like you're done. Ten of Wands. Nine of Wands. Reversed. Nine of Wands upright would be like Wounded Warrior, like still got a little bit of fighting you left. This is like, no, fuck no, I'm done. This is done. <laughs> done for. This person sees you as very attractive. They possibly see you as their empress. They want to come in and ask for forgiveness after taking a break or after doing some think thinking, contemplating. You know, they want to come in and transform the situation, possibly travel somewhere with you. I don't know. Pisces, if this resonates, hit that like button, okay? Let's get, um, let's get one card from here. I don't know if you have a new person coming in. I definitely see a past person, but there could also be this king of pentacles here. But I'm kind of inclined to say that this is not a new person coming in, that this is the same person wanting coming in, wanting commitment to transform things, to move things. You know, that's what I'm feeling. Okay, give me a couple cards. What kind of relationship is this? Hand of cards. Take a chance or a risk. Being strategic. Options. Not showing hand. And gambling. Passion. Insane chemistry. Like each other equally. Having fun. Not today. Not dealing. Hurt. Avoiding a conversation. A call. Person. Boundaries. And still angry. So somebody here could still be angry. Somebody here could <laughs> still be setting boundaries. Um, the hammer. Sam sabotage. Rebuilding. Interrogation. Repetitive repetitive persistent and working on it so somebody here may want to work on something that has i feel like the chemistry is off the chain here like somebody is very very attracted to you if you're the empress here i do feel there's a strong att attraction a pull a draw but i feel like this person also i almost feel like this person could be really good like really fatherly boss like leader but then this person can also get real fucking nasty like with this king of swords and this um devil somebody here can get real fucking evil you know what i mean they go cold as ice hey hello honey honey get some to drink 
I'm recording. She gets her headphones on and she just like, she doesn't even realize she's choking. Give me one more card on this relationship spirit. Girl with a snake, empath and narcissist paradigm, being charmed or used, enable boundaries. So I feel like you put up your boundaries for a damn good reason. I feel like this person, it, it, this could be like an empath and narcissist paradigm here. I feel like you're very patient. You're staying very balanced. You could also be getting to your pentacle. This is the time clock right on her lap. So I feel like whatever it is, you've got time. Not today. I feel like, but something here you're not dealing with. You're not... You're being strategic. You're not showing your hand. I do feel like there's insane chemistry here between the two. All right, Pisces. I'm going to leave it there. If this reading resonates, if you guys would like a personal reading, you can book in the description box below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.